Hi everyone, I'm John Pavlock. Welcome back to Ion Harness Racing. It was a day that lived up to expectations. Nearly 25,000 fans turned out to see the $1.5 million Hamiltonian final and several other rich and important stakes. And for two of the sport's top stars, it was a day they'll never forget. Driver Tim Tietrich came first over with the third favorite market share to win his first Hamiltonian trophy, which also gave trainer Linda Toscano the distinction of being the first woman to train a Hamiltonian winner. Obviously, tears and smiles were part of the post-race celebration. And market share powers to the top with Tim Tietrich. Market share up to Peter Kent trot with him. Guccio up on the far side. My MVP is closing hard. If market share needs the line. Guccio, my MVP closing. Gonna be tight. Market share holds on. I can't even believe it. What are you feeling right now? I don't, there's no words. There's absolutely no words. It's what you work a lifetime for. The first thing I thought of is I wish my father were alive. Because <laughs> my father my father is the reason that I do what I do. It feels awesome, man. It's just Five minutes ago, dream come true. <laughs> kind of hard to take it right now. I'll let you know when you're ready, okay? Can I let you know when I'm ready? <laughs> In the $714,000 Hamiltonian Oaks, driver David Miller had personal style in a contending position on the turn for home, but when the overwhelming favorite Check Me Out made a break and took the second favorite Maven with her, that turned the contending position into a 57-1 victory. And now on the outside, here comes personal style. Win Missy B. Sears working furiously on her. Dave Miller, personal style on the outside. Sassy Syrinx is third. And check me out, rallies for fourth to the wire. It's going to be tight. Personal style on the outside. Personal style. Everybody left that I expected to leave. You know, I was following the three horses I would be there. Uh, uh, Yannick tried to remove, and uh, I just got out and followed him up the backstretch. So that left me second over around last turn. And check me out, made a... She don't usually run, and uh, I was surprised when she run, and uh, Maven was right behind her running, too. It was kind of, uh, you know, kind of a break for us, but we uh, made the best of it. Want real cash back with every wager you make? Join BetPTC.com, a U.S. licensed ADW, and earn cash back with every online or phone wager. Wager on top tracks like Del Mar, Freehold, Monticello, Meadowlands, and more. Test drive racing's best kept secret at betptc.com and get a $75 sign up bonus. Join today. Tom Charters, in addition to his duties presenting the Hamiltonian Trophy this past Saturday, took time to speak about the changes being made to the Hamiltonian conditions that pay respect to the race's traditions. What challenges does it bring to switch back well, to heat? I think it's from a business standpoint, it's a little bit more of a challenge in this day of simulcasting. Uh, it's, uh, you, you need a little more time to communicate what the next field's going to be and so forth. And so it's, like I said, challenges. I think it's a challenge in terms of what bets. We've got to develop wagers that play on heats, you know, more so than just uh, the uh, traditional bets. So uh, a lot of us are working and thinking about it and how, we, how we'll be up to it. Linda Toscano's big training day actually began before the Hamiltonian. Her four-year-old Windsong Legacy Trotter Chapter 7 dominated in the $250,000 Nat Ray. Driver Tim Tietrick took him to the top early, and the pair cruised to a 150-1 world record win. Mr. Herbie on the outside drifting out. Mr. Herbie appears to be flattening out a bit. Fighting back Chapter 7 from the inside. Back at it, Mr. Herbie. Then Dale and Magician and Sabruga. This chapter has a storybook ending. It's Chapter 7 in the Nat Ray. Congratulations. Thank great you. Trip, you always race big, too. <laughs> I told you he's good. Okay, Jim. Linda, we know this horse tried at the Hamiltonian, was a favorite, and now he comes back this year to break a world record. What do you feel? Well, I feel like I'm vindicated. I mean, he's just a great horse, and I got to, I'm just tickle pink that he could get a chance to come back on his own turf and show what he can do. Looking for a fun and easy way to learn more about standard bread racing? Harness Night School, Thursday nights. Enjoy access and learn the game from top racing insiders via chat, 
and video. Miss a class? Read the archive. Harness Night School, Thursday nights. Let's get rolling. The next generation of stars was also on display on the Hamiltonian Day card. In the $309,000 Woodrow Wilson for two-year-old Pacers, Captain Treacherous flashed a dominating 149 three-mile for driver Tim Tietrick and trainer Tony Alanya. The $387,250 Peter Houghton final featured a mild upset and a thrilling finish. Jim Oscarson drove the two-year-old a perfect Yankee to the lead in the stretch and then had to withstand a challenge from Corky and driver David Miller in a 154 and one mile. Looking to scoot away from them. Corky in between horses. Dewey Color in the line. Caveat Emptor looks for an upset on the outside and deep stretch. A perfect Yankee. Corky from the inside is coming late with Fashion Blizzard on the inside and Caveat Emptor. A perfect Yankee! <laughs> what do you think are some of the amazing qualities this horse has that could guarantee a spot in the Hambo next year? No, you can never guarantee, but uh, you know, I think this is a horse for it. But, uh, you know, it's a long winter and everything's going to be good and, uh, you know, this, sometimes it's going to come up some other horses and everything, but I think this is a very good one. The crowd this past Saturday at the New Meadowlands was nearly 25,000, down only slightly from the past couple of years, but the betting was up 9%, even before adding in the millions bet in Europe. General Manager Mike Newland took time to share his observations about the big day. I'm sure you guys put together all kinds of ideas once it was on paper and now that you see it laid out trackside what do you feel uh, I'm kind of blown away you know I this is my first handball in previous years we've had a one dollar admission and then this year we have five dollar admission what are some of the things that uh, prompted that change well this year uh, we're the only track in the country that gives away the live program free with admission um, we've been doing that all year normally our admission is two dollars and we give the live program away free this year with the souvenir uh, program, which obviously cost us more to make, um, you're getting the program for a $5 admission, you're getting the program free, and you're getting uh, probably one of the best hat giveaways you've ever seen. The, the hats themselves almost cost us uh, more than $5, so the customers are really getting a, a first class hat, not a cardboard hat that uh, a lot of racetracks give out. I hope you still have perfect attendance at night school and also hope you had a trip to meet the professors at the Meadowlands on Hamiltonian Day. Topics of interest to both newcomers and seasoned veterans are addressed, often by special guests, each Thursday evening. Tuition is absolutely free and you can also download class materials without charge. So make it a point to join the hundreds who attend each Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern by visiting ustrotting.com and clicking on the night school banner. Then, armed with some night school knowledge, you'll want to visit handicapping.ustrotting.com to see which tracks are in on the strategic wagering program and its guaranteed pools. Here's an inside tip. Saratoga will soon be offering a first in New York carryover wager on their biggest night of the week. When it's announced, you'll find all the details and the guarantee details at handicapping.ustrotting.com. The past performance page you download is pretty much like the one I download, except for one little difference. TrackMaster's past performance products are now available for download to your iPad, which is handy for making notations, just as you would on a printed page, but without having to use paper and printer ink. It's innovation such as this, combined with powerful products such as Platinum Past Performances that set TrackMaster apart from the field. Download the free iPad app at TrackMaster.com. Ready for the latest advances in handicapping technology? TrackMaster is your solution. With 20 plus years of providing a wealth of information, TrackMaster has tools for every level of player. TrackMaster Pocket Handicapper for iPhone and Android puts the power of a computer in the palm of your hand. Drill down to charts and race videos. And with software like Plus Pro, even the most advanced players have sophisticated tools to succeed. The complete source for thoroughbred, quarter horse, and harness racing information. Trackmaster by Equibase for the serious player. There was an unusual incident this past Saturday at Balmoral Park where a possible tragedy was averted by some fast thinking. Here's the number 10, D's last shot and driver Bobby Smolin leaving like a shot from the outside. Trouble is, a line breaks and Smolin shouts to John Roberts, who does exactly what common sense and safety dictate. 
He grabs the broken reins and pulls both horses to safety, giving up a shot at victory in return for a safe outcome. As a result, after a judge's inquiry, Dee's last shot and Robert's horse, Shax, were both declared non-starters and all wagers on them were refunded. Fast thinking resulted in no harm and no foul, and most importantly, nobody, horse or human, was injured in the incident. That's it for this week. I'd like to thank Rich Johnston, T.J. Burkett, Ken Weingartner, and Gigi Diaz for their hard work in making this week's show a very special one. And we'll see you next week on Eye on Harness Racing.